Hi guys, it's Flo. I'm here today with another portrait of Django from BTS. It was a very inspiring portrait because uh, we have a lot of contrast and colors and I like the pose of uh, his face. This is an old painting that I painted on paper and the material will be listed down below. Today I am starting with the background. I am framing his face uh, with the dark background and his hair. I like to paint the frame of the face because it helps me to evaluate the colors a little bit better. I don't go into details for now because it's just to allow me to evaluate the colors and contrast a little bit better. As always, I always start with the eyes for my painting because I don't know, it gives more life and I like to go into the details uh, as soon as possible. The eyes are my favorite features to paint because uh, it's very detailed, it's very rich. I don't know, it's never boring because we have so many different values and shapes and it's also very important to paint it well because you know it's the soul of the character. So I go colors by colors, values by values. Uh, I try to build up the volumes at the same time. You can see the various colors on that area of the face. We have purples, we have bright red, we have blue. And uh, that's funny because when you look at a face or picture in general, you don't see all those hues and values and colors. But when you paint, you learn that uh, white is not white, that uh, the skin is not pink or light pink. It's a mix of different colors. And here, this is uh, at a concert, so you have lots of lightings and um, it's much more richer than you think. Now I'm putting the edges because of the shadows that the air creates on the forehead and uh, I place it here and I fill out the forehead. Now I'm painting the nose. I like to start off with the small details like this because um, again I don't want to lose um, the outline that I did previously and also it helps me to keep the features uh, right and uh, the likeness is much better like this. I have to do corner by corner, value by value, all those areas so I can keep the likeness right. Speaking of likeness, I like to project my pictures onto my surfaces so everything is just right and I don't have to uh, waste my time to draw and take hours to have the right shapes and forms and it accelerates the process and I can paint almost right away. Now the second eye with the eyebrow. You see I start with very very dark shade. It's not black, it's uh, a dark purple. And I build up the eyes like this. And you can also see that uh, the eye, the white of the eye is not white. It's a blue, gray, a little bit of purple, a little bit of red. We have tons of different shades here. And in reality, the white of the eyes is never white. I'm softening the edges now because in nature, you never have very strong edges. When you draw and paint at the beginning, you really exaggerate all the features, the colors, the contrast, but in reality, it's much, much more softer. Now this is the mouth and uh, I like again to outdraw the darkest shade first and especially the little corners because it defines the lips and also uh, the separation between the upper lip and the lower lip and um, I build up the darker shades again to create the shadows 
and I'm progressing uh, onto the lightest colors of the lips. And um, it's really, really tricky, those, this part, because uh, we have tons of different shades again, especially with the lighting and the context uh, of the lighting in that picture. It is uh, quite challenging sometimes. I have to go back several times. There's a lot going on in this area. And I'm progressing the contour and the cheeks. And uh, I like to place the darker shades like this, so the bright shades. And I go back on top of it with lighter shades and the colors and the right colors for the transitions. And you see the color is never a light pink or a creamy color. It's a variety of different shades. And I paint what I see in the picture. When I paint, I don't think in terms of eye shape or nose shape or mouth. I paint uh, forms, I paint shapes, I paint values and colors. It's uh, never a specific feature that I paint. And uh, I paint what I see in the picture, um, which is difficult to explain. You really have to train your eyes to see and to copy it on the surface. I hope that you will like this voiceover because uh, it's very difficult to make. Uh, I think that there's always something to learn from an other artist. And um, if I can help you to progress or if I can help myself to do better, uh, I think it's a win-win situation. Here, I don't put too much effort in placing the shades onto the surface. I just fill out uh, the surface. So I think it's uh, easier to evaluate the situation and to correct along. Now, this is uh, the ear. We have a lot of colors again. It's a feature that I like to paint because it's very rich, tons of colors and shades. And I'm progressing zone par zone. So here we can have also a nice transition between the light shades and the darker shades. Here is the cheek. Uh, not very interesting to paint because it's a large area. And really there is uh, nothing very interesting to add in that zone. The transition between the jaw and the neck and the cheek, uh, I think it's very difficult because um, I don't know, it's not clearly defined, but we have some definition. At the same time, we have some shapes that are into the shadow, some shapes that have lighting on top of it. And um, especially on the masculine face, we have the bone structure, so it's Pretty complicated, uh, I think, to draw that correctly. This is the part of the painting that I dislike the most. The jaw and the connection between the jaw and the neck, it's really, really difficult. And I don't like it at all. The neck doesn't seem too difficult to paint because we see as a tube. But in fact, it has lots uh, going on, especially on the male, because um, you see the position also is also complicated. We have lots of lighting going on. And yes, it's much more complicated than uh, it seems to be. Here the blending is also very important because I tend to create very harsh edges because you know I'm still a beginner and uh, yeah I don't have uh, all the good um, uh, reflex 
I'm still making lots of mistakes. But I try to do better and I'm um, learning every day. I started to paint more seriously uh, since October and I am learning every day. I practice also every day for several hours. This is the only way you can progress. You see the contrasts are so 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 strong and uh, I always force myself to desaturate or smoothen the highlights or lighten the shadows because every time I accentuate those contrasts way too much and it creates an unnatural look, uh, like an illustrative effect. Want to progress to create more realistic painting, which I find very difficult. I try to work as much as I can to progress in that direction, but um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work uh, that way. Uh, but you will see at the end of the painting, I think uh, I achieve a degree of realism that I like. Of course, it's not perfect. It's never perfect. I am never happy with what I do. But uh, I think it's a constant battle. But I can see some progress compared to a few months ago already. And here I'm defining a little bit more uh, all the features. Uh, I go on to the details and I try at the same time to correct any mistakes and the lack of lightness and the lack of lightness on certain areas. And uh, this process can be quite um, challenging because it takes time to build your eyes. You know, to have a more accurate eyes, it's uh, something that you have to work on it uh, all the time. And now I'm putting more details into the hair because we are almost at the end of the painting. Now I'm trying to smoothen the edges to reduce all the harsh contrast. This process of smoothing the lines and the edges is very very crucial into my paintings because I tend to exaggerate the features way too much as a beginner. I know that some painters don't like to blend their brush strokes so much, but uh, for me I think it's a necessary step. I like uh, to see the skin uh, with a much softer look. I don't like to see too many brush strokes on my faces. But what I like is to be able to see some brush strokes and a soft skin at the same time. And I think that mixing both techniques are great um, for more natural look. This is the final painting and I am quite happy with it. Of course not perfect because the level of realism that I want is not achieved yet, but uh, I'm still learning. I hope you will enjoy this video that maybe give you some inspiration to create your own paintings and uh, maybe you also learned something today. So I hope you will enjoy and see you very soon.